So I was really excited um, to sign the organisation up uh, for the 2017 festival just because we had such a great experience last year. There were so many visitors there, such an engaged audience that we had countless conversations with people who were there because they really cared about their footprint um, and making positive changes in their lives to help the world around them. This year will be the first time I'm at Ferret Square and I'm really looking forward to it. Just again to be part of that community of people talking about fair trade and, and looking after the planet, but also being a, at a really prominent place in Melbourne. You couldn't have a better location really because it's it's right there in the heart of Melbourne. Every time I, I visit Melbourne I somehow, even if I don't mean to, end up walking through Federation Square. The event being held at Fed Square is one of the perfect venues for this sort of festival, especially at that time of year. So not only do you get people purposely going there for the festival, but you get huge amounts of foot traffic going through that area, which means you have a huge audience that you can engage with. You never know, you might even convince some people who haven't even considered being ethical in, in too many ways, bumping into some stand on Ferret Square and maybe changing some people's attitudes. It's a really busy time of year uh, in Melbourne around Christmas time, so there are thousands of people going through that area, so we want to make sure we capture as many opportunities as possible to talk to new people. To be able to have those conversations pre-Christmas, having the sales and just getting out there will be great. I think Christmas has a tendency to, to become very commercial and very wasteful. If we are able to, as eth ethical suppliers, if we are able to flavour that in any way into a direction where it, um, it supports the economy, it also supports the environment, I think we have a responsibility to do it. For us to, to run the cooking tent is a good opportunity to show people who come to the event that to be ethical or sustainable in the way you eat isn't rocket science and, and doesn't necessarily have to involve a massive change in your life. Yeah, we're just looking to bring chefs in to combine cooking skills with sustainable and, and ethical practice. Connecting with Moral Fairground, getting the newsletter and now being part of this has really taken away that isolation you can sometimes feel setting up a business. And I would recommend that if you're in that space and you're wanting to do, do good and make money at the same time or you're involved in fair trade, this is a really good place to find a community of people that will support you. Like-minded businesses, talking and hanging out is what it's all about really, networking and combining resources to have an impact. So it's good to get motivation from other people trying to do good things. I think this is a, a very clever investment if you are serious about getting your word out about um, fair trade and about the ethics of your business. I look forward to seeing you at the Fair Square.